Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. We're gonna have a party at the thrift store. So we went to Goodwill Outlet and um, we buy everything for about 90 cents on the pound. So with this, this is my haul from the Goodwill Outlet. Spent $27, got approximately about 20 items, maybe a few more. And when I did the math, it should equal out to about $520 of profit if I make what I want to make and sell everything. So let me give you the breakdown and tell you exactly what we got. Okay, so first off, we have this very vintage army helmet. If you notice right here, it says Jackson Products Biggie right here, made in the USA. Anything made in the USA usually sells really well. Now, obviously I cannot put this on Amazon, but I can put it on eBay. And because it has this front strap here, it's worth a little bit more. It has this front leather strap. So um, vintage, well, I said army helmet, but it's more like a construction helmet. So I'm really excited about that find. Um, this is really awesome. So this is Rosetta Stone. It's actually the German version of Rosetta Stone. I looked it up on Amazon. It's going for about $150, but I am restricted in selling it on Amazon in that category. So I'll have to put it on eBay, but I probably can still get about $100 worth of it. I opened it up. I looked, all the CDs are there. I pulled the CDs out. They're beautiful condition. So no scratches and stuff. So I'll have to look and make sure that it, it doesn't include any other things that are supposed to be in there, such as instruction manuals and things like that. It does come with a couple of manuals. So I'll check my um items and make sure that i have everything contained in this box if not when i sell it on ebay i can just put that special note but somebody's gonna buy this for 100 bucks so next thing i got is sorry it's called sorry sliders aim slide and score so board games are something that i have found really really good profit in this is probably about 20 or 30 dollars obviously i'm going to go through um what it's supposed to include some usually somewhere on the bottom of the box it says right here, if you look real close, contents, so I can look through and make sure I have everything that's supposed to come with it. The boards, the scoreboard, three blocker rails, all of those things. So I use that to make sure I have everything included. And then I usually use some industrial strength saran wrap, and I usually wrap them up really, really good so that the box stays all put together in the Amazon warehouse. You don't just want to like tape the sides because sometimes the boxes can get damaged in the Amazon warehouse. Um, a really awesome good find. This is Boy Scouts of America backpack. Do you see the logo right there on the front? Um, so this is one of their vintage backpacks. Uh, when I looked them up, it looked like I could get about 15 to 20 bucks, but this is actually a larger size than what I could find on eBay. This is obviously an eBay product, but it's definitely worth it. I usually don't post anything on eBay unless I can make at least a $15 to $20 bill on it. So um, this is in really good condition. Um, it's not moth-eaten. There's no holes in it. You know, obviously it's been used, but it's in really great condition. They just don't make stuff like this. But Boy Scouts, very American, um, really collectible. So there's that. So I've also got a commissioner binder. It's pretty fancy. It's got um, all the little compartments. You can put folders in here, uh, notebooks, but it's got the really nice seal. It looks almost brand new. I'll obviously sell it used because it doesn't come in its original packaging, but it looks like I can sell this on eBay for around $15. So this is a really good size and a really good find. Um, next thing I got is this cash flow game. I go for obscure games. Obscure board games usually sell really, really well because people can't find them. So this one's going for about 40 bucks on Amazon if all of the contents are there. And so I'll probably sell it like new condition. I will not sell it new condition because obviously it's not new. You can tell by the box. I'll put in there that it just has a little bit of box shelf wear as long as all the contents are there. Now when I open it up and find the contents, let me just show you here. What I want to do with a lot of the contents, see it's got the instruction manual, that's really good, is see how these are in baggies? If it, they weren't in baggies, I would make sure that I put them in baggies so that the stuff doesn't slide all around inside the box and get damaged. And so when you're selling in like new condition, you're definitely going to want to package that stuff. I like to use the little jewelry bags that you find in the Walmart craft department. Those work really nicely because they're basically about half the size of like a sandwich regular Ziploc baggie and they seal really nice and they look real nice and professional. Uh, this is really awesome. It's super heavy. It's called the Food Lovers Lifestyle System. Obviously the box has been damaged, but when you open it up, 
all the contents are there and it looks brand spanking new. So it's basically never been used or opened. Um, it's just the box has been damaged and so it, it evidently got discarded. So it's got all the cookbooks, all of the videos, all of the journals, everything that you need to go in it. I may repackage it into a different box just simply because the box is a little bit beat up, but it looks like I can sell this for about $50 on Amazon. All right, what's next? We've got this sorry fun on the run. It's a travel board game. And so I'm thinking about 10 bucks on Amazon as long as all the pieces are there. All right, what do I have next? These I call smalls. So this is anything that I can find at a Goodwill store, a Salvation Army or a Goodwill outlet um, that basically is new in box, still with a barcode. So it's easy to list, very fast to list. And I'm looking to make anywhere from three to five dollars on these after fees. And so I've got this creepy little, what is it? bug refills. So it's a refill bug goo for some sort of a product that was sold. And then another small that I have is a sure tight um, fastening system. So obviously some sort of a construction post for a leg or a table. Then I've got, um, looks like kind of like a uh, um, McDonald's Happy Meal toy. It's a Smurfs Lost Village toy. So McDonald's Happy Meal toys, if you can find the right kind, some of them do sell really well. Um, then I've got uh, some sort of a game system, a DIDJ. So it looks basically like the equivalent of a Game Boy, um, but it's a different kind of brand. Comes with a little case cover. So I'll put batteries in it, make sure it works. All right, I actually just sold um, a different version of this Mickey Mouse one. Um, I, well, I have it listed right now because I just listed it. I think I have it listed for around 15 or 20 bucks, but anything vintage Mickey Mouse um, sells really well. It's, this has a little bit of damage on the ears, so I'll make note of that. But these are highly collectible because there were eight different kinds of these Mickey um, McDonald's toys. All right, this is a one wax vac cleaner and safety guard cleaning brush with eight tips. So brand new in the box, I can sell it easily. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? I've got um, one of these little pop-up clocks, these travel clocks. Back in the day when I first started, I used to find a ton of these over at um, like auctions and things like these. And these are always like a five or a $10 bill, depending on whether or not, I mean, I'm obviously gonna test it and make sure it works. I can just pop a battery in and check, but these were always really good um, finds when I found these. And now that I'm getting back into thrifting and some of the thrift stores and stuff like that, um, it's been really nice to be able to find some of these again. Um, a Disney edition of Sorry playing cards. Um, and so these go with a Sorry game, but the big reason why I picked these up, Disney. And it looks like all the cards are there. It's still in the package and yay, barcode. All right, let's see. Here's another McDonald's toy. It is a um, Shrek toy that comes from the McDonald's. So that'll be a good seller. Here's a display box for inspirational ideas. Um, basically, it's kind of a keepsake box. So found that really cheap, barcode on it. Uh, let's see, vintage kind of cap gun. So it has the little popper to put the caps back here. Um, and these sell really well too. So that's an eBay. A lot of these, um, if they have a barcode, I'll put them on Amazon, but things that are loose like this, I'll probably put on eBay, the vintage um, McDonald's toys as well. Let's see what else we got here for smalls. This is a um, like a little old school kind of calendar planner, things like that. Um, people still buy these, you know, um, kids that don't have smartphones, things like that. People still use these, um, but it's a sharp, quick reference guide for storing information and things like that. All right, this is a Polaroid. Anything Polaroid sells really well. Um, it looks like it's the same thing. It's a Polaroid kind of planner, calculator, all in one kind of device, but it's very, very small, can fit right in your purse or your pocket. All righty. So stuffed animals, um, stuffed animals, you don't think about selling, but um, they do sell. This is a little cute yellow bunny rabbit. It's actually has the little logo on the back. If you can see, it's the Peeps logo. 
Yogo? Logo. Can't talk today. The Peeps logo. And so that's a really, really good find. So I get, I'm expecting $15 to $30 on this. Then I've got this other little stuffed animal. It's a little puppy dog. It has the label and it says um, it's from the Build-A-Bear workshop. So that's part of the reason why we picked it up is because it's from the Build-A-Bear workshop. And so that's a cute little puppy dog. Alrighty. Uh, yearbooks. Yearbooks are a really, really cool find. Usually I can sell them for about $10 on eBay because somebody has lost their yearbook, it's fire or uh, water or moved or whatever, and they're looking for their specific yearbook. They do sell really well on eBay um, and you can usually get them to move for around $10. Alrighty, um, this is cool. Just looks like a regular um, book. Uh, we picked it up because it was in really, really good condition, and then we found out it's actually a game guide for a game. It has a sales rank of about 800,000 in books, which is really, really good. Anything under a million in books on Amazon is very, very good. It sounds like a high sales rank, but for things like this that you can't find very frequently, it's a really good thing. So it's in fantastic condition, has the barcode on the back, um, and I look to make about 50 bucks on this one. And so I'm excited about that. Secrets of Mana, official game secrets. All right, how to stay a Christian in college. So um, this is uh, just a regular book, has a good sales rank, and I can make about $10 on Amazon. Quick flip because it's just an easy list for Amazon. Anything I can put on Amazon, I'll go five, 10 bucks because it's really, really easy to list and just ship into the warehouse and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, you know me and my board games. This is called Hugger Bugger Jr. It's a weird one. The mystery word game for two to four players ages nine and up. So it's a little bit more kid friendly kind of um, mystery word game, but I should be able to make, if all the contents are included, about $40 on Amazon. So I'm excited about that. Even if all the contents aren't included, I can drop the price to about 20 or 30 bucks and still make a good profit on it because somebody might just be missing a few pieces. All right, here is one called Laser Maze. It's $20, and also I'm looking to make about 20 bucks on Amazon if all the pieces are in there. But the box is in fantastic condition, so. All right, Battleship. Here's a good old Battleship, 20 bucks on Amazon. It looks like it's in fantastic, almost brand new condition. I'll open it up, make sure all the contents are there, and get a profit. All right. This one was an awesome find. So this is actually called an HP Notebook Quick Doc. So if you look at it, um, it has the name right here. Uh, a lot of times I can look it up based on the model number on the back. So this little panel here usually will have some sort of a serial number or model number. I'm not sure if you can make that out real well. But what it is is basically you plug it into your computer and it has all these different options. So it's got four USB ports, it's got a power plug-in, another plug-in. Um, it's got a monitor hookup. So it's got a lot of different options, a network cable, and all of that is available in this. So a notebook, quick doc. I'm looking to get about 50 bucks if it's in good working condition on Amazon. So I'll have to test it out, make sure it works. So that is my haul of around 20, 25 items from the Goodwill outlet. I spent $27 total on this big, huge haul. Um, I look to make about 520 bucks. Let's say I gotta adjust some of the prices. Maybe it's only $300 because I got a lower prices, but spend 27, make 300. I'm all about thrift stores. Now it might not sell as fast, but I usually check sales ranks to make sure I'm not paying storage fees on something that's gonna sit there for six months. But I'm really excited about this haul. I should be able to get it listed quickly. Yes, there's a few things that have to go on eBay, which takes a little bit more time to list, but it's totally worth it when you're talking going from $27 to about three to $500 in profit. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope it gives you ideas of things to look for at thrift stores and you get out there and start thrifting and garage selling and all that fun stuff. And remember in the end, Jesus wins.